Hi everyone and welcome back to another PS Vita homebrew video. Today we're focusing on the Retro Arch or Retro Arc. Still haven't found out how to pronounce that yet. The Bubble Builder uh, version 1.0 by Ant H J. So it basically allows you to create bubbles within Retro Arc. So you can go and uh, select the emulator that you want to use along with the ROM create that bubble and once you create the bubble you can go into that bubble and it will directly launch the game within RetroArch which is pretty cool so I have one already set up and it's a really nice app I think it's wonderful to have something like this available especially if you have thousands of games in RetroArch and you're playing you know a couple of them and you just want a bubble right away out on the uh, P PS Vita home screen and here's an example now I had to use their default images because I don't really have images on my PS Vita for this I'll have to dive into that and select the games that I really want to play in RetroArch and download some of those images and get them on my PS Vita and properly get those copied over so yeah, this is called, uh, let me go back here. This one's called Flintstones. Uh, this is for the NES. It's a pretty rare game, hard copy. Uh, there wasn't a lot of them made. So let's start it up and show you how it's performing with this bubble. And it takes a little bit of time to load. I would say maybe like a minute, minute or so. There we go. The first time it took a little a little bit, but now that it already got the hang of it, it's a little bit faster. So yeah, the superstars, the Flintstones, the surprise at Dinosaur Peak. Pebbles, pebbles. And it's working just fine. Just like it should. So you're just running RetroArc, no problem. So let's open up RetroArc Bubble Builder. Here's the wallpaper start it opens up fairly quickly so here we go circle equals select ROM file let's press circle and we're going to be selecting our ROM let's do and you want to make sure it's going to be accessing it should by default access where you have your ROMs for RetroArch Let's go to SNES and I will be using Donkey Kong Country 2, my favorite. And once you select it, it will take you to the next page of enter the game's name. And my keyboard is not showing up here on screen, so I'm going to have to look at my Vita real quick. DKC2, then I have to press enter. After you select the ROM file, right below it, you'll have the core name and core file. And this is going to be the emulator or the core that you'll be using for the game that you selected. So it automatically chose the Nintendo Super Nintendo Entertainment System using the SNES 9X2005 core. And you can change the cores by pressing the left and right on the D-pad. So there's that 2002 version. I like to use the 2005, it's more stable. Uh, then we have the next available ID, manual images. And what you wanna do from here is we want to press the X button. And now we have to select our background image. And by default, it's gonna give you this nice retro wallpaper can't go wrong with this one very nice and by pressing circle you can select the image within your folders on your PS Vita and I don't have one so I'm just gonna have to hit triangle and cancel and you can stretch the image by pressing the or I'm sorry using the uh, right analog and zooming in I like how he has the Disney VHS is there so, all right, we'll put it back. 
and the left analog is going to move the image. So the right one is going to resize and zoom in for you. No problem. Let's press X again for the next option. And if you're confused as to what the controls are, you can always press triangle and it will bring up this image for you to understand what's going on. So let's press triangle once again and press X to move on to the next option. And here we can change the image of the little start. So by default, it's going to give us that uh, Atari uh, retro arc with the black or uh, black and purple background there. And we can change the button location by pressing square. And we can move the image right there if we want to the side. And there's another option. So there's only three options to move that button. And pressing start will make it transparent. See through right there. And here is going to be the icon on your home page of the PS Vita, the little bubble. And you can change the image however you like it. And uh, you can change the color as well. You can change the background color of that. Very nice. So I'll just leave it like that go to the next page and once you're all done and set all you have to do is press start and it'll start building that bubble for you and there goes the wallpaper very nice really like this application gives us more customizations of bubbles for retro arc so now it's installing the bubble please wait i like how it's giving us the load screens bubble installed all right, let's go home and check it out. So there's DK2. I did have Donkey Kong Country 2, but I had to restart, so I just named it DK2. And let's rock it. Good job, good job on this application. So far, so good. It did have an error when I was trying to choose an image. But this is version 1.0, so hopefully those bugs will be uh, addressed very soon and fixed on the next patch, on the next build for this next version. And retro achievements should automatically load up. I'm not uh, logged in properly, and that's just a uh, nice little feature for RetroArch. For those who would like to earn trophies with these old school games, you have to create an account on retroachievements.com. And from there, you set up your uh, account and then you log into RetroArc. Make sure you're connected to the internet, obviously. And then it will log you in right away when you start a game that does contain the trophies. And they're constantly adding trophies to various different retro games, so it's nice. Reminds me a lot of like playing on the PS3. And there you go, guys. It's working just fine. It's great. And you will have two different windows open. You have the retro arc and then the bubble that we created. So it's very, very, very nice to have this. And that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this application, the RetroArc Bubble Builder by AntHJ. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this and many other homebrew content coming very soon. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.